bacteria which are resisting just about everything. And MRSA, or the Staph aureus bacterium, can stay absolutely innocuous and without any problems clinically if it stays on your skin. The problem is, and especially in athletes or people who are skin-to-skin contact like MMA fighters and boxers and, and uh, wrestlers and ball players, where they will come have skin-to-skin contact, it just takes an abrasion on the skin. And if you have that MRSA that's positive, you're cultured positive for that, there can be, without proper recognition and proper implementation of uh, therapy, 72 hours and it can end in death. This is not something that is just, oh, it just happened down the street. This is happening all over the United States today. And the problem with MRSA is is that it's now being acquired in three different areas, not only in the hospital but out in the community. They call that differently. They call that community-acquired MRSA, and that is skin-to-skin, hand-to-hand, uh, doorknob-to-finger, uh, that kind of thing where you're seeing that being widespread in the community. What we're going to talk about right now is a is a product which is is to me the holy grail of this whole pandemic phenomenon that's going on with uh, bacterial resistant organisms and in this case we're talking about the methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus that particular bacterium um we call it MRSA but this product is called Biocent B I O C E N C E and it has been formulated uh by a friend of mine uh, Mr. Alan Lord you can look that up on www.biosense.com to look and see the information on this. But this product has been granted registry by the FDA. We often say we're approved by, but the FDA doesn't approve anything. It grants registry uh, availability, and so they registered it as a Category 1 OTC, meaning over-the-counter pharmaceutical topical antiseptic. Now, one thing about this product, I mean, there's a whole lot about this product and different testimonials and applications and animals as well as humans. But let me say this just quickly and summarily. This product is the only product that is available in the United States today that have, has FDA registered, um, uh, it's granted registry at the Category 1 OTC level, which kills MRSA on contact. And they're every strain of MRSA, whether it be nosocomial in the hospital, iatrogenic, whether it be community-acquired, whether it be the epidemic MRSA, and they categorize the different strains that are developing now. All of them have died on contact, zero time. It doesn't have to unless we'll just let it sit for an hour and a half or whatever. It is on contact. They have done hundreds of different organisms, both viral and bacterial and fungal. And even though a lot of those results haven't been published yet because it has to go through certain uh, publishing mandates for the FDA to allow it to be brought out into public uh, admission, the bacteriologists, the infectious disease experts, they've all said there has not been one organism yet, gram-positive, gram-negative, whether it be enveloped or non-enveloped viruses, herpes, AG, Ebola, uh, weaponized anthrax, these, uh, Salmonella, Enterococcus, Clostridia, these are intestinal bacteria which are causing a lot of havoc now. There has not been one that has lived beyond 30 seconds, and most of them have died on contact. It's a very interesting product. They have a spray. They have a lotion. They've done side-by-side tests with instruments in hospitals. There's two or three studies that have gone on. Ahead. They will be published. They took autoclave instruments, and they took Biosense soap. And they did it the appropriate tech uh, procedure for autoclaving, which is that high heat for surgical instruments, and they just soaked for 24 hours in the biosense. Within 24 hours or 36, whatever that was, they were able to get to a bacterial growth when they swabbed down the autoclaved. But for three days plus, they never got any growth in just the soaking of the uh, in the biosense. And uh, you can use it as a mouthwash. They've recently been given approval by the cosmetic toiletry fragrance association of america called ctfa and they are allowing it as a preservative system in liquid cosmetics this is a tremendous uh available uh, substance and it smells good it smells like citrus it really is an amazing product and uh, we've had so many things uh, uh i've introduced it to the mma uh all about a while back and they said holy mackerel this is something that we need because they had a couple of deaths matter three or four deaths last year 
two of them down in Miami, they almost shut down the um, the MMA uh, circuit because of that. They weren't sure what to do with it. And anybody this has been introduced to, they think it's fantastic and phenomenal. But unfortunately, they just have it hasn't caught on. Just like hand washing, you say, "Oh, gee, that's a great idea," but then for some reason, because because this is not a uh, Godzilla type organism that you can see. Uh, five miles away, if you can't see it, then it doesn't exist until it happens to you. And this is the, the unfortunate thing about this, is that these organisms, you can't see them, but they are there, and they are becoming aggressive as far as how quickly they affect somebody, almost to the point of dying, if it's not picked up correctly immediately. And it's passed very, very quickly between people as well as animals. You can pass it to your animals, they can pass it to you. Um, veterinarians have, are also extremely excited about this product, the ones I've talked to, because they have a high incidence of MRSA in animals and cats. You said it came in a lotion and a spray? A yeah, lotion and a spray. Uh, they're trying to, they're not trying to, they're, they produced a gel which has not been uh, uh, available for sale yet. But the, I love the lotion. I love the lotion. It's, it's nice. It's a tremendous uh, um, post-shaving uh, application because of the oils that are in it. It works as a tremendous moisturizer. I know some women, that's all they use. They use that uh, following shaving and they use it on their face at night and that's all they use. They said, I've given up cosmetics because this has so many phenomenal activities to it and it makes my feel, my skin feel so phenomenally good that that's all I use. Now, it's a, it's a new product. Is it available in stores? Uh, not so far. It's, it's primarily through the website, although I know Alan has a tremendous number of people who are interested, different groups and companies and hospitals, et cetera, et cetera. But it's getting through the red tape, and it's just trying to, con to rec let people recognize this is for real. This is not some fly-by-night uh, snake oil application that does all these things. It, it actually does. And it's a phenomenal, a phenomenal product. I had a friend of mine who had in recalcitrant. I mean, he said I could not get rid of it. Kept coming back. I couldn't get rid of it. Um, an athlete's foot, which is a skin fungus. He said he applied it three times a day for four days, and he hasn't had a problem since. Gone. And there's a gal down in Hollywood who had an adult acne, which is different than adolescent acne because it's not horm so hormonally driven. And this is the only thing that cleared her up. And she spent thousands of dollars in dermatological procedures and ointments and creams and antibiotics, etc. She used this for a month, and she said, my gosh, my skin is clear. I've never been clear before. So this has it? that kind of application yeah. also. How do you spell it again? Biosense, B-I-O-C-E-N-C-E. -E. And www.biosense.com. Www